are you? Welcome back to my channel for a chatty little get ready with me life update. These are honestly my favorite videos to watch. I don't know why. I just like to kind of like zone out and there's something visually interesting about watching people get ready, but then there's also like continuous conversation. So I wanted to make one. I have some new things to play with, guys. I have big news. Guess who the partner is for today's video? Sephora. I was so excited when I got that email. So basically what that means is I'm gonna be linking all the products that I'm using today down in the description box. And if you shop those links, it helps to support my channel. And every single thing I'm using today, I got at Sephora. I have been such a big Sephora fan for so long. I have been a part of the Sephora Beauty Insider program for probably, goodness, eight years now, because this is where I get the majority of my makeup. And if you are not part of that program, I so recommend signing up. I'm actually gonna have a link that will take you straight to that page. It's free to sign up, but you get so many different perks. Nothing feels better than cashing in your points and like taking home a free little goodie. Nothing actually, I take it back, nothing feels better than the birthday gift that you get every single year. I ordered most of the new things online and when you're part of the program, you get free one to three day shipping with no order minimum, which is just so convenient. So I got some fun things to play with. Like, ah, I'm so excited. I've been dying to try the Merit Bronzer. Oh, look at that. So we're gonna do some tried and true favorites, but also some fun new things. And like I said, these will all be linked in the description. So thank you to Sephora for partnering with me on this video. Wow. I had tried this a long time ago, um, but I've been seeing it pop back up everywhere. So I'm gonna mix this deep bronzy drops with my go-to like kind of daily moisturizer together as the base underneath a skin tint to see if it gives me like a summer glowy type of situation. I went ahead and wrote, I just feel like there's like random life update things to, to, to share with y'all. And then I also asked over on Instagram if there's anything you wanted me to touch on for sure. So I just wrote down kind of recurring themes and we're gonna go through them one by one. Let me actually, pull up my notes app before my fingers are out of commission. Look at those together. I feel like a little scientist. Oh, did I do too much? We'll see. So first things first is the day that I'm filming this, I am mere days away from surgery. I'm filming this on a Monday. Surgery is on Friday. I'm getting so excited, a little bit nervous just because like, I hope I planned properly and accordingly. I have done a lot more in-depth updates in vlogs. So like I kind of just, talk through the whole surgery process in a recent one. I will be vlogging the whole experience. I don't know how with it I'll be, so maybe Jordy will be vlogging. <laughs> I just actually got a new one of these, but I'm gonna try to use this up. I have just a little bit left. This is the Glossier Skin Tint. I am shade G11. I kind of have been going back and forth between like some more full coverage or some skin tint, and I found that I like whenever I do a skin tint, I do a more full coverage concealer. And this has been a tried and true for so many years for me. This is Too Faced um, in the shade Marshmallow. So this is like one of my more full coveragey kind of concealers. And I feel like it balances the sheerness of the skin tint pretty well. Interesting that I went ahead and wrote this one down next because I got some people asking me my thoughts on Botox. I have never done any sort of like it inject anything in my face. I've never done filler. I've never done Botox. With my surgery, they gave me a $500 credit for Botox in their office. And so I think I'm gonna, like, that's free money and it's something I have been a little bit curious about. So I think whenever I'm fully recovered enough from surgery, I think I'm gonna try it for the first time. I'm excited. I feel like 26 is normally the age that like the people I follow start being like, okay, yeah, if it's preventative, I'm starting to see you know, just a little bit here and here on me. And I have noticed that makeup has been laying a little bit different there. I think I'm gonna try it probably this summer. Um, I don't think I'm interested in filler. I just am afraid of it migrating. So I don't see that in my near future, but never say never. That's a big motto of mine. My current self cannot speak for my future self because who knows how we're gonna change in any of our thoughts, any of our beliefs, any of our life experiences. Of course, this is like a small thing filler, but big things too, like religiously, politically, life goals, anything. I always say I can't speak for my future self, but I can tell you my best guess, you know? Okay, a lighthearted question before we get into some heavier ones are travel plans for the summer. I'm gonna put concealer here, sorry, for hopping back and forth. By the way, this is a hot take. My favorite beauty blender is just the Sephora brand like they have some in-house tools. And I did a TikTok about this recently being like, hot take, this is like the more affordable option. And it's so much better than the pricier options, but that's just my opinion. Travel plans this summer. So July is the family trip to Kauai, which I'm very, very excited about. It's gonna be in one house, my parents, JJ and Mark, 
me and Jordy. And so that's really sweet. It's something my parents coordinated and that was our Christmas present this year, which is just so beyond kind. I really love that we have been shifting away from physical presents and I've been shifting more towards like experiences because that is just my favorite thing. So feeling very lucky and excited for that. Um, I'll be going to Fairhope for 4th of July. So that'll be fun. All of Jordy's family will be there for that. Oh my gosh, June, I'm going to Oceanside for 10 whole days and I'm taking off. I'm taking off a week. My channel is mostly gonna be dark. I'm gonna have one surprise vlog go live, which is um, deleted scenes while I'm gone so that you don't have to go a whole week without any videos. So there's gonna be a deleted scenes vlog and I'm actually taking off a whole week, experimenting to see if that helps mental health and health. <sighs> August, the very end of the month, I'm going to Florida with my family because yet again, Jordy is playing a festival on the beach, which is gonna be so much fun. There's gonna be, all of his friends, like Ben Rector, Matt Carney, Need to Breathe, Johnny Swim, Stephen Day. So a lot of people that he is friends with playing on the beach, which is so fun. So, so far that's it. I'm sure there'll be more little things here and there. Ooh, I didn't get a little sponge, but y'all know if you watch my channel, I like to set my um, concealer under my eyes using my finger, which I know is not the norm. I'm gonna come back and set the rest of my face a little bit later, but that is just yummy. It's time to try this. Ah, so excited. I'm gonna use Merit's brush to blend this after I apply it. I also got this at Sephora quite a while ago. Literally, what didn't I get at Sephora? The next question is coping with healthy weight gain. And honestly, I'm gonna be so honest here. So I've probably gained about, oh, this is a lighter shade than I realized. This is clay but also I don't know if I should use this more as like a bronzer, more as like a contour. I've gained probably a little over 10 pounds in the last couple few months, which was my goal. And honest, I'm just gonna be honest, I don't know what's helpful to share or not, but like some days I look at me and I'm like, I look so healthy. Like I've like filled out a bit. I look so healthy, I look so great. Other days I'll try on, you know, a pair of shorts that I wore last summer that I really loved and they will not fit and I'll be like, uh, I don't like this. I don't like the way this feels. I don't like the way that my thoughts are moving about this situation. Um, and so it literally changes day to day. The way you feel about your body can fluctuate day to day and that's totally fine. Okay, this is so pretty and natural looking actually. I feel like this is a great lightweight summer look with the bronzy drops underneath and then a skin tint and then this. I actually wanna do a little bit more as more of a bronzer and less of a contour. Okay, someone said, how is Max's allergy situation? So if y'all know at the beginning or at the end of last year, beginning of this year, Max started having allergies to something and he licks his paws a lot and that saliva causes his fur to turn pink. So I've been taking him to the vet about it. He's on Zyrtec and he hasn't been licking it as much, which is great. The vet doesn't seem too concerned. Of course, as his dog mom, I'm like overly concerned about everything, but she's like, yeah, no, just Zyrtec is fine. And he's not been licking it as much, but his, his fur is still so pink and around his mouth too, if I didn't say that. And so he seems fine. I'm trusting the vet. Honestly, you want the real tea? I have not been sharing as much of Max because some people, can be so mean about it. I literally had someone DM Davina, who's my friend that like dog sits Max when I'm gone, she stays here, being like, take that dog in. He's not being taken well, like good care of blah, 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 which is like so incredibly hurtful because he is my child. He is sleeping on his barefoot dreams blanket right now. He's like, he's got the life of luxury. I won't even like board him whenever I go out of town, I pay someone to stay here so that he can be in the comforts of his own home. Like he is so taken care of. So I'm like, you know what? I know that he doesn't look the same. So I've just been sharing him less because like those types of comments can be really hurtful. And I understand now why people don't share their kids. Like imagine people commenting things like that about your kid. Who knows? We'll see when I have kids, how I navigate that. But okay, I love the Merit blush. I get asked all the time what blush I'm wearing. And I recently got this color, Beverly Hills. And it's beautiful, it's a little light, but I used to have like a darker color. So I wanted to try a couple more. I got Cheeky and Fox. I kind of want to try one on each cheek and then I'll blend them out. Okay, this one is Cheeky. It's so pretty, it has like a pinky rosy undertone. This one is Fox. It looks like a bit more of like kind of a crimson. Ooh. I feel like this is more what I gravitate towards, but this is really pretty and like kind of more pinky peachy for summer. I'm just having fun with all the face stuff, but I gotta move on to brows. 
I have a whole Kosas video coming out soon that I actually filmed before this one and I've been playing around with their pencil. And at first I was like, it's so fine tip, like it's gonna take me a while to learn how to use it. But now I've started to pick it over what I used to use. Um, it's still very like precise, so I end up just kind of doing a messy job and blending it out a lot with the brush. But this is the shade, I think it was medium brown. And I have really liked it. I just have to remember to go in with a light touch. I'll be focusing over here in the mirror on my eyebrows while I talk to you. TLDR, Max is doing great. He just looks different and I'm his protective mom. So I am always overly concerned slash defensive about him but who isn't defensive and overly concerned about the things I love. I had a lot of questions about this apartment and like my plants and my lease is up and also like, when will you and Jordy live near each other? All those sorts of things. So we are now going to enter the part of the conversation all about that. So someone first asked, how does the cost of your current apartment compare to the cost of your last apartment? It's about a thousand dollars a month more, which I know is like pretty ridiculous. Um, but of course it is so much bigger, two bedroom, two bathroom. The water view is just beautiful. You know, it's not forever that I'm gonna be in this like single girl era living alone. So I kind of just wanted to have my dream life experience of feeling like I live on the water, feeling like I live on a boat before one day, you know, life will change and I will, I will have kids and all those sorts of things and I won't be able to justify living in a spot like this. So I just did it. But this brings me to plans when your lease is up because I know for a fact when my lease is up, the renewal rate, especially if I wanted to go month to month, but just what they would charge me for this apartment, no way would I feel comfortable paying. Austin is not rent controlled, so it's very much the norm that when your lease is up, they kind of screw you over, which sucks. And I've done research on this building and I just kind of know generally the percentage increase that they will do that and I just, I, I moved into this place knowing that when my lease is up, unless I'm just so overwhelmed and need to buy a month or two going month to month, I don't think I could stay here. So it like literally moving in here, I was already sad about knowing that I'd have to move out after just a year, um, but I still wanted this experience and I'm so glad that I did it. I've spent a lot of mental energy lately trying to figure out what I will do when my lease is up. Um, my therapist tells me I'm not allowed to think about it until I'm three months out. I am not listening to her because I can't help but think about it. My lease is up in the middle of December, December 11th, which is like kind of the worst time because holidays and everything. Okay, help me decide what to try for eyeshadow today because I got this. I've been really wanting more matte eyeshadows. A lot of mine have a shimmer. So I got this from Tarte. This is the Tartlet, the Amazonian clay matte palette. The colors are so pretty and neutral, but I also, did it just fall? Where'd it go? I also got this Bobbi Brown. I tried a sample of this once and I loved it. So I got the full size. This is a long wear cream shadow stick. It has two colors. It has bark and it has, what is this one called? Pink steel. I think I'm gonna try this because it's so different from what I normally do. I also got a white liner. I wanna to try to line the inside of my waterline with this white liner. Yeah, this feels gentle enough. Maybe I start with that. Anyways, where was I? What was I saying? Oh yeah, my lease is up in December, which is like kind of the worst time. YouTube is really busy in December, November, December, but there's also a talk of potentially a big family trip for like two weeks of December. So I'm like, do I move out do that trip, spend Christmas with my family and then figure it out. Like put my stuff in a pod and then figure it out. Do I get an Airbnb in Austin for a few months? Do I, this leads to the next question people ask, when do you think you and Jordy might live near each other? Definitely sometime in 2024, I would like to live near him because at that point we will be over two years of dating. And that's just a long time, long distance for no reason. We're both self-employed. We don't have to be long distance. Um, so I'm like, maybe then is my time to to relocate. And I really love the church and the community that I've made out near him. And that's something that I have been craving. Never in my life did I think I would ever want to move back to Southern California because I associate it with like bad things. But Oceanside feels very different from LA. And I went in super apprehensive being like, I'm gonna hate this. And then was so shocked that I loved it. I, I mostly love the community. And like, that is so important to me. Wow, this is so pretty. I'm gonna try blending it out. Ooh, guys, we're going smoky today. Probably not gonna stay here in December. Probably gonna just move out when my lease is up unless I wanna pay an astronomical amount of money to extend it a month and then figure it out. 
but I'm basically pretty torn between do I get like a three month lease here in Austin somewhere, maybe somewhere furnished, or do I just go ahead and make that move? And then new year, I'm not sure. Another part of it too is Jordy probably won't even be over there in the new year. He'll probably be on a uh, like beginning of the year tour, probably February, March, April-ish. So I'd be out there alone, but I would want to make it my community. So it would be kind of nice to be out there alone, hypothetically. And maybe I never move. You know, you never know, you never know, but that's just kind of where my head is at right now. I kind of don't like saying where my head is at when things are so unsure, because nothing more I hate than people being like, well, you said, and I'm like, yeah, but then I changed my mind. So I do know that I don't want to do the whole nomad life thing again, where I move every couple weeks somewhere new. If I got a Airbnb, I would want it to be just one that I stay in for a while to feel like I can like really kind of settle in, like unpack all my clothes, whatever. I would love to have the flexibility to have movers move things into a pod, at least all my main big furniture stuff while I figure it out and then like figure out where I'm living and have them ship it. Wow, this is so pretty too. So if anybody has a brand that they really like or a good experience or a bad experience, I would love any advice on that. That is something that would be so helpful to know. And then that leads me to my next question is, are you still looking to buy a house? I've kind of put that on pause to be honest. I also think if I do move out to where Jordy is, I would like to live in an apartment for the first year or so and just like really make sure that that is where I would enjoy being before making a big commitment like buying a house and just kind of like leave my options open and be flexible and also learn the areas that I would like to live in. So that's kind of where I am on that is like maybe in a year, maybe in two years, but nowhere in the like immediate future, which is also kind of nice because I feel like the economy is so unknown right now. The market is so unknown. Interest rates are rising. Um, I'm glad I didn't end up buying in Austin because it it's not looking like that would have been a good financial move, at least for the short term. Even though I was really bummed about losing that really cute little house with the back house. But just for comparison, that house was twice as much per square foot as a lot of the houses that Jordy found in Oceanside. He would like to buy a house. So he looks at houses all the time. Literally price per square foot in Oceanside is half of what I was putting offers in on here in Austin. Also just like keeping my eye out on apartments out there, literally two bedroom apartments out there. The ones that I like are half of what I'm paying now, given where I'm right now is just, it is just quite, quite bougie. <laughs> oh, best mascara in the world. I've talked about this for what, three years now? I will never find a better mascara because this one does not clump at all and it looks so natural. It's by Merit, it's their Lash Slick, I think they call it. Clean Lash by Merit, best mascara. Okay, those were kind of like the bigger life update things. I pulled some questions that are a little more rapid fire. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of this bronzer on my nose. I wanna, I wanna go a little more summer sun kissed. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit more of this and then we'll do highlighter, lip, am I forgetting anything? Rapid fire, red flags that you would now notice in someone, especially after the last few years of your life. Honestly, the biggest red flag that I completely ignored is what your boyfriend's friends say about them and family. Because in my experience in the past, I thought that the friends and family were just kind of being like, you know, how you like lovingly joke around be like, yeah, he's not really trustworthy. If people, if the people that are in their life don't have good things to say about them, that is the number one red flag. So don't be afraid to ask. Honestly, if um, someone is secretive with their phone, that's now a huge red flag that I would immediately be like, no, I don't have time to deal with that. Honestly, I should do a whole video on like red flags to look out for when dating. That would be a fun one. Maybe we should do that. That would also be a good podcast episode. I would like eventually to reintroduce a podcast of some sort. I'm just still trying to ease into things and be healthy with my work-life balance as much as I can. Which leads me to the next one. How's your mental health? Are you doing okay? Honestly, I feel like I'm on the up and up. I feel like I've done a lot of recovery with my eating, with my body. I feel like I've done a lot of good work in dating again. I feel like I've implemented a lot of good boundaries in my job, um, I've been taking off Sundays, I've been planning this taking off a week once a quarter situation and just giving myself grace with like the way I'm feeling and then therefore what I let myself kind of slack on has been really huge for my mental health. And I'm proud of myself, I feel like I've made good strides. What happens for lupus when you get too much sun? Okay, wait, 
pause this. I haven't tried before. I'm so excited to try it. It's the G Suite from Glossier. I'm so pumped. I cannot believe that Sephora started carrying Glossier because I used to have to order the skin tint separately and now I can just order it all at once or go literally grab it in store. I, the first time I saw that display in store, I was like, my life just got so much easier. Now I have a one-stop shop to get everything I want. But this color is Lane and I think this is a matte gloss. Very outside my comfort zone. So I wanna try it, see what I think. And then I kind of also wanna try putting a clear gloss on top of it to see what I think. Just. We're playing with this one, okay? Skin, lupus, sun. I'm sure it's different for everybody. For me, it kind of flares me. I feel like incredibly fatigued and like some joint pain, but it also mostly just flares. I have also subcutaneous, subacute cutaneous, subcutaneous acute, whatever order those words are supposed to be in, which means it presents in my skin and deeper in my skin as well. And the sun is the main flare for that, the main trigger. That's a pretty color. I'm gonna let this set. And then I do wanna try putting a clear gloss on it, but I'm gonna do my hair first. Um, your opinion on breaking up because he doesn't know if he wants to get married. Uh, he used to want to, but as of now, he doesn't want to. Honestly, break up with him. I've noticed that when people want out, they start kind of hinting at it well before they actually do it. And I think you will save yourself a lot of months of pain of trying to make something work that they don't want to make work if you get out sooner rather than later. That's something that I wish I had done is like once the hints were being dropped, I wish I just listened to them instead of trying so hard to fix them given I was married. So like I had, I guess, a promise to uphold of like trying everything I could before giving up on it. But if I was dating someone and they had that same behavior, I would automatically be like, I know where this is going and it's not worth the fight if you don't want to be here. And I know that sounds really tough and really hard, but I do think in the long run, it is the less painful option. If someone says, I don't wanna get married to you anymore, there are circumstances where maybe they're just the type of person that doesn't wanna get married, which is totally fine, but if they used to want to and now they don't anymore, I feel like that's backtracking and I would listen to it. And last rapid fire question. Y'all know you've been along on my hunt for this. Um, I tried out so many dry shampoos before I found my favorite that was like clean enough to pass my standards. And this has been my favorite. It is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. The gray bottle I like better than the silver bottle. So I went ahead and got, the, this is like the biggest size. This is, how big is this? This is almost 10 ounces. I got the big bottle from Sephora to last me a longer time. Look at that body, right? Okay, here's the lip. Now that it's dried a little, uh, a little bit of a messy application on my part, but the color is beautiful. I'm actually gonna just put a lip mask over this. This is the Tatcha one. You can get this also at Sephora. Surprised? No. Last question I thought was interesting was favorite to least favorite solo trips. I might be missing some, but the ones that I felt like were truly, truly, truly solo trips, there's only really four. And currently nothing has beat Maine. Oh, I guess there's Boston too. Cause I did those both back to back, but I did them as separate vlogs. So let's say Maine. Second was probably the houseboat in Washington. That's probably my second favorite. Third was probably Cape Cod. Fourth was probably Maryland. And now that we're talking about Boston, probably fifth was Boston only because I don't feel as much like myself in a big city. I feel so much more like myself in a quaint town. So I need to do more cute little outdoorsy East Coast small towns, I think. Okay, here's the final look. I loved playing with some of these new things. This is so beautiful. I love this. This powder is so nice. I'm so glad that I have a powder that doesn't leave so much of a white cast and is more finely milled. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have all of this linked down in my description, along with a link to take you directly to sign up for the Beauty Insider. Um, I highly recommend becoming an insider. There's just a lot of perks. If you buy makeup, skincare, perfume, hair care, if you just buy anything beauty related, this will have perks for you, okay? Thank you for being here. I know this was probably a long video. I love just getting to chat and update you guys on things. The future is very unknown, so it'll be so fun to see where I end up and what life looks like and bring you along with it. Thank you for being accepting and supporting as life changes and ebbs and flows and being along for the ride. If I looked back a couple years ago at where I am now, I'd be shocked. And I'm sure I'll feel the same way in a couple years from now. Looking back, I think that I, I looking forward would be shocked. So who knows? TLDR is who knows what life's gonna look like, but these are my general thoughts and plans. And thank you to Sephora for partnering with me on this video. What a dream come true. Probably like top five career highlight for me right here, right now. So very huge. I love y'all. Thanks for being here.
I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. So let's take all night